And we've got a lovely little glide here. Not a real lot of depth, not a real lot of cover, but we're going to get along this edge here, maybe two foot of water, which is enough to hold a reasonable fish. And then on that other side, you've got another foot. It's worth a few casts as you work your way upstream looking for better water. You never know what you can pull out of it. There we go, nice little fish there. And uh, just worked our way. I, I, sorry, with my back to you, just as I turn around. And with a light little rod like this, even a little fish like this with a bit of current, is a bit of a handful, but uh, it's all good fun. I've got the Stork and Legend. I might get across there in the, the quieter water. Stork and Legend in a seven foot six three weight, which is ideal for this sort of water. And I'll just get across. This is a brown. That we'll get a closer look at soon. And it's the ideal setup here because you can have a lot of fun, even with small fish. And uh, I imagine fly rods are a little bit like golf clubs in that you need a few different types. You don't drive with a wedge, you don't putt with a driver. So you need a few different fly rods to fish water successfully. Now guys, you better thank me for that. And I'll just bring him across over here and, and uh, show you a bit of lovely little brown from that edge of that sort of water. It was a few different casts. We worked on the other side, the deeper bit first, and then walk, worked our way over to the other side, a little bit of slack of water. And that was enough to still hold a lovely little fish like this and it just makes it all worthwhile. Like that. Hey, just to wet your hands before you uh, handle these fish. And this is a brown. And you can just see, again, we talk about those, those lovely red spots and just a beautiful little fish. And they're very opportunistic and they've got to be in a river like this they don't know where that next meal's coming from. So if they see this lovely nymph coming down, minding his own business, they've got to whack it before their little mate behind them gets it. So uh, yeah, they, they can be very aggressive at times when um, the food's there, because they've really got to take it. Good? Oh no. Beautiful little fish. And he's, he's pretty good to go. Just hold them and they'll swim out of your hands when they're ready. But again, on light gear, like in a little three weight, it's good fun. You know, you can imagine using a six weight to try and catch this and uh, she'll be all over a lot faster. And nowhere near as much enjoyment. And these light little rods are terrific for casting much shorter distances. Uh, the presentation's exceptional. This is a three weight. Come summertime, I'd probably use a two weight in here. And there's a, a, a big difference between a three weight and a two weight. Uh, and a bigger stream, I might use a four weight, and then bigger again, like the Goulburn, you're into your fives, even six weights. So um, you really do need a whole uh, arsenal of rods to suit the conditions you're gonna fish. And it gives you a lot more enjoyment as well as success with the right gear. Beautiful, beautiful, a lovely day. Northeast Victoria, not a cloud in the sky, beautiful, cool water, and you've got fish that are playing the game. Just makes it worthwhile.